Hey guys, what's up? This is Nain here from Tech Barrack Solutions and today in this Mac tutorial, we will learn how to either edit the current keyboard layout or create a new keyboard layout on our Mac. What is a keyboard layout? A keyboard layout is nothing but the arrangement of keys either on a computer or a typewriter or any other typographic keyboard. The keyboard layout for different countries is different. Let's take some examples. Over here, we have the United States keyboard layout and also the United Kingdom keyboard layout at the bottom. Now there is very minor changes in, the, in both the keyboard layout. In the UK keyboard layout we have some extra states and the enter key is a bit bigger. The major changes in keyboard layout comes in different countries apart from you know you could say UK or U, U, US because the other countries have different languages. A good example would be the Danish which is used in Danish keyboard layout which is basically used in, the De in Denmark or any other Scandinavian countries. These keyboard layouts have some extra keys like the Phi symbol and some more extra keys. Now if we have a more closer look at a particular keyboard layout, we have number of states in a keyboard layout. Now states are like if you press a single key, the output is something else. If you press two keys, the output is something else. If you press a different combination of keys, the output is something else. So these are all states. The state 1 is always the single press. State 2 is double press. And uh, you can see that the state 2 is over here all given in blue color. And uh, we have a state 3, state 4. They are all different combination of keys. You can create and edit these particular combination on your Mac too. So if you want to create a new keyboard layout or edit a keyboard layout on your Mac, you can easily do it with the help of a software. This particular software is called as Ukulele and you can download this particular software from the link which I have posted in the description below. Download the latest version that is 2.2.3 which is currently the latest. Once you download this particular file, you will have a DMG file on your desktop or wherever your download folder is. So just open this DMG file. Once you open it up, just transfer this particular application to your application folder on your Mac. So we have the application that is ukulele.app. Just drag it and drop it into your application folder for Mac. Since I have this particular application already on my Mac, I'll just replace it. So once you have installed this particular application on your Mac, just eject the DMG file first. Before opening the ukulele application, go to system preferences, go to language and text, go to input sources and make sure keyboard and character viewer is selected. Make sure that show input menu in menu bar is also selected. And once you select this particular option, you will have this particular input menu from where you can select any one of the keyboard layouts which you have selected from the input sources in your system preferences. Now open ukulele application. When we open up the ukulele application, we get a bluish keyboard which does not have anything which is basically blank and we can create a new keyboard layout out of it by just going into the keyboard menu and clicking on edit key. Now we have two options, either press or click the key or enter the key code which may be Unicode or some other format or standard but I would rather love to click or press the key. So I'll just click on OK and then now I need to click or press the key. As you can see at the bottom it says that. So let's say I want to change the output of the A key. So I'll just press A and when I do that I can just select the new output. Let's say I want to make it Y. Now when I click on OK you can see the changes have been made and every time I will press A on my keyboard I will get the output as Y. So in this way I can create my own keyboard layout and I can save it. But this is not what we want to do or not many people want to do. This is just creating a new keyboard layout which is really very hectic. If you want to create a new keyboard layout out of the current one or like you could say the edit the current keyboard layout you can go to file and say new from current input source. Now what will this do? 
is this will take in your current input source which is US in my case as you can see I've selected US keyboard layout so it selects US and now I can edit this particular keyboard layout so this is really cool I don't have to edit everything I just have to make some minor changes which I want and edit the keyboard layout and save it as a new keyboard layout so let's say I'm in India and when I do shift plus four you can see I get the dollar sign and I don't want the dollar sign I want the rupee sign which was launched in 2010 and I would like to use the rupee sign because I live in India and we deal with rupee so what I can do is I can go to keyboard and I can say edit key and then I can say press or click the key I will press shift 4 and then I will go to the character menu and then say show character viewer and over there I will go to the currency symbols and we have the rupee symbol over here somewhere I just can't find it okay leave it I have it in my favorites however so this is the rupee symbol now what I'm gonna do is I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna drag it to this particular menu and I get the rupee sign and then I click on OK now when I click on shift plus 4 I get the rupee sign so I have edited my keyboard layout now my task is to change this keyboard layouts name so I would go to set keyboard name and I will make it India or let's say Indo because I already have a keyboard layout which is named as India so I will just name it as Indo for the time being then I can even set the keyboard ID and even I can attach the icon file like you can see the US keyboard layout and the British keyboard layout have their own flag so you can have your own flag now the file format that is supported for the icon is .icn if you want to get these particular file formats you can go to iconarchive.com and over there search for your particular logo like let's say I want the India logo and then you can just download it and select download ICN once the file is downloaded go to your ukulele application and in keyboard select attach an icon file and when you do that you get an option just select your file that is .icn and then click on open and once you do that the file gets attached that's the icon gets attached and then you can even set the version info that is version 1 and your source version string you can have the keyboard language also set along with the region I don't know why it's not opening okay so here we go we have the keyboard language which is English and we have also the region which is India so you can set that up and once you have done all these things go to file and then click on save as after that save it as some keyboard layout let's say indo dot key layout and just save it on the desktop or wherever you want to once you save go to your macintosh hd go to library and in library go to keyboard layouts over there just drag and drop this particular new keyboard layout which you just created click on authenticate and just type in the password on your Mac once you type in the password the keyboard the new keyboard layout gets transferred now go to system preferences in system preferences go to language and text go to input sources and then just select uh, your input source that is Indo which I just created so over here we have the Indo new keyboard layout so once I select it now I can just browse my new Indo keyboard layout from my menu bar and I can just select it and we just changed the shift plus 4 button so let's try it out it works so that's how you can create or edit the keyboard layouts on your Mac and even use it so that's it with this video guys. I hope you liked it. Please rate, comment, subscribe and visit techbarrack.com.